I came in here this morning to get my V8 juice off the shelf. And yeah, I like, I like uh, oodles and noodles when I make a stew. And granola. I'm a rather healthy eater. And uh, so anyway, there's my clams, artichoke hearts. So I come in here and shelf breaks. It's one of these plastic little doodads here. Kind of bad, huh? What does that tell you? Only the best. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to make some wooden runners. I'll, I guess I'll show that. Cause, and uh, these things, these are pretty cheap shelves, but they're okay. I mean, you know, how good does a shelf have to be? And uh, but that's amazing. Just, and you saw me. I just pulled it out of there. It just snapped in half. But the good thing is, I get to lower this down. I'm gonna make some cleats and put in here and glue them in and all that stuff. But I'm gonna do all of them. So yes, yeah, my power aid. See, I eat pretty good. I even have tahini. Mmm. I have this scrap wood, so I'm gonna cut six bits. I'm not gonna do the shelves up higher anywhere else. And there's not enough on them. So I got. Uh, like this is my painting trailer. I'm getting ready to go back up and do more painting. So let me make uh, two times this and countersink some screw stuff in it and just just get it up there. And a pretty good power cable, isn't it? Cousin Larry gave me that. This thing here means business. That was when he was a DJ. All right. Let's see. Is it working? Nope. Oh, let's not be on over there. Okay. Hadn't used that yet. I'm in a decorative, festive mood, so we're going to be countersinking. Okay, ain't that nice? The perfect time to pull everything out, vacuum it, and wipe it out real good. And uh, here's, I got my little kits ready to go here six runners and there's one in the bottom I, I kind of forgot I did that but don't matter it's, I need all this bigger bigger stuff anyway so sometimes you just got to do stuff there are these plastic clips I found a baggie of them in here so so you got to keep in mind that you you got you can't go too far because you hit your equipment so you, you have to measure carefully on your screw depth and I don't think you need any glue on this but so you can tell you're somebody because I got my my pre-drill right here and then I got my driver there so let's get that thing started I think I can do it like this let's see if that's true oh, I can't a little light there and there you go that's pretty good and solid I was thinking about putting some Gorilla Glue there but that'd be a last stand and these screws are great uh, so and like you can see I got just enough bite once it sinks in there to go just about the depth of of this cabinet and that's just perfect so yeah baby this is taking a lot longer than i thought it was but that's been that's been the standard lately i went out to do oh and i didn't show you what i did here i got my i was given this microwave i don't use microwave and i just put a book in there and i uh, sort of got my got my uh, height that i wanted so the other thing i ran into was there was that thing in there to give these uh these hinges of backup so the rest of it will be easy and uh, have to vacuum it out again from all the sawdust but uh, nothing but the best <laughs> I guess I'll just leave those in there it's not gonna do any harm you know they're not doing any good not gonna do any harm I've got all these cleats in and I am just not happy I turn that shelf around. I don't care if it's raw wood, uh, but uh, I'm just not happy. So I'm going to put a couple of dots of Gorilla Glue underneath all these things and just just make double sure because you know I'm, I'm holding up brandy and stuff like that. To be mighty careful when you're holding up brandy and stuff. 
So I think I'm just going to run a little bead and deal with it. I don't think I'm going to, you know, who, how many times you move your shelves around? A couple of, when you moved in, you know, maybe one other time. Okay, this will be it. There's a little, you can see a little bit of sticky right there. A little bit running down. I don't care. Oh, you get this stuff on your skin, it's going to turn your skin black. So, that's it. I think that's going to be it. You don't need to see my food and stuff in there. You already saw that. So give us a thumbs up and a like, and don't be afraid to do anything. Just uh, if something breaks, make it better than it was. Leave a wake of, of happiness and joy and, and uh, good tidings and uh, joyful Noels behind you. And let others bask in that glory and stand on the shoulders of giants. And Okay, I'll go now. Bye-bye. <laughs>